So let's get to the main subject at hand. It's Hobie.pro. They've been around since 2013 and they were one of the top three back in uh, 2017 for quite a while actually. And uh, I think they were up there with BTCC and OKCoin in China before all the regulations forced them to migrate to different countries such as Japan, Singapore, South Korea, I almost said North Korea, <laughs> South Korea, and uh, they're looking to come to the U.S. soon. So it's just a matter of getting all that red tape out of the way and uh, solidifying who they are in the market. And having partnerships like SBI is a great leverage point for them to continue their success in the market. Let's look at one other thing that I found when I did my research. So if we go to Coin Market Cap, so CMC baby. We can look at trade volume and they were number two last week, but they're oftentimes in the top, you know, top seven, top two. And that's really interesting to see because when in September 15th of last year, they had to really shut down shop and migrate. And in a matter of two months, I think it was back in November sometime, they had already mar migrated to Japan and they were one of 11, um, one of 11 registrations that was accepted by the FSA, the Financial Services Administration or Agency, I forget which one it is. So here's a little bit of information about SBI. And as I always say, these partnerships are paramount to the success of a lot of these exchanges. The fact that they're secured now, per their Twitter handle or their Twitter feed, they, they state that they've never been hacked. So I, I don't recall them ever being hacked, but uh, I think that's pretty good when you're one of the top three and uh, you, you haven't had a problem because believe me, there are people trying to hack you when you're at the front of the game. So let's check out their interface. You have exchange, margin, labs, hubby tokens, help. You can change it from night to day or day to night. I like night. You have nine different uh, languages there and to sign up, it's fairly intuitive. You have the USDT, Tether, Bitcoin, and Ethereum. So these are all the different base currency pairs you can use to buy these tokens. And let's sign up. So first, before you get too far ahead of yourself, I would recommend opening up in another tab your email address. So if you want to pause the video, I would recommend doing that. It will make things go so much faster. So let's go sign up. And then let's see what email I, okay. So we're going to put in our email. And another important thing is your nationality here. It's going to look up your IP address and probably just drop it in there based on where you're located. But you're, it's what they're looking for is your nationality. What's on your passport? You could be a Japanese national and be traveling in the U.S. and forget to, you know, choose that it would be different and you can't revise it after registration. So keep that in mind. And then once we have the email account in, it's U O B I S B I, we're going to hit send, we slide this to the right, confirm. And since we have our email open already, that pops right up. We're going to get this code here and we're going to plug it in right there. And then now we're going to make a very secure password. Okay. And then terms of use, click on that, agree to terms of use. And if done correctly, we'll just re-enter the email account and the password should be good and click login and there you are you're into the interface uh, I've really had no problems I actually like it I'm going to continue to use it and try it out now they don't have, and I think they'll probably add it in the future, 
but things like Bitfinex, if you've ever checked them out, they have a, a lot of different, I wouldn't call it AI necessarily, but a lot of execution type tasks that you can use, like one cancels the other, a lot of additions to your trading, which is nice, but I don't trust that exchange, especially with the whole Tether thing going on. But uh, first, when you get in here, you'll probably want to fund your account. So you'll have to go to deposit and withdrawal. One thing to note, uh, sometime this year, I think around March, they, uh, SBI and Hobie are looking to, well, they're partnered already, but they're going to create two other exchanges called uh, SBI Virtual Currency, something like that. And then the other one's Hobie Japan. So keep an eye out for that. I think they're going to take yen denomination. So right now it's strictly crypto, but it will be able to somehow be a form of fiat. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to want to deposit Ethereum. And uh, before I get too far, exchange account, double check, make sure you're on exchange account. Margin, they don't allow you to use it in the US, so I'm not gonna go over that, but exchange account, it automatically defaults there, but it's always important to double, triple check everything you do. Now you have your deposit address, make sure that the little arrow is pointing where the Ethereum is. You can double click it, copy it that way. You can also copy it here, and it automatically puts it in your clipboard, and you can get the QR code as well as here. And let's see, minimum deposit amounts. So I've already created a separate account and I, for time's sake, uh, deposited Ethereum in there and bought a few things to try it out. So I'm gonna cut to that real quick and we can show you how to get trading. All right, so now that we're logged in to the, our wallet, we can click on zero balances. So if you just put in Ethereum, then you would most likely just see Ethereum. I messed around with this a little bit earlier to try it out and uh, give you guys a faster feel of it all. But it, you know, I could have recorded it right then and there. It was super easy. So this is just a quick way to figure out what you have. ETH, you can also put and see what you got. Let's go to exchange. So now we can start trading. Say we wanna buy Quantstamp, QSP. So now we can go down. I always double check things. So I'm on Ethereum, we're on the quant stamp, and we can go down to limit order. I'll go over the charts in a minute too. Uh, limit order, so this is our available Ethereum, or Ether, and we can see, okay, price, this is what they're looking to sell. So this is the best price you would be able to get, this, get it with a sell. So they are selling their QSP for Ethereum, and that's the price but maybe you wanna pay a smaller amount. So that's where you'd be under limit. So you can ask lower than the going rate. Uh, let's look at the market and see what the latest trades went for. So everything from 2.31.747. So let's do 31.747. So we'll click on this one, change that to 7.47. Maybe we want to buy 25% of our total holdings of Ethereum. Maybe we'll do half of that. So we'll do 25. And then we just hit buy QSP. Now there's nothing lower right now. So what will happen is it will sit on the order book until it gets executed. And once it gets executed, it will be in the order history. And then the order history will give you the whole rundown. The date, the pair that you bought, what type of order it was, uh, the price you bought it for, the amount executed. Uh, it's really interesting. It's a lot of uh, good information. Another thing that I really like about this exchange is it gives you a quick rundown of what the coin actually is. So you can see Quantstamp is the first smart contract security auditing protocol. And I really, I have a position in Quantstamp. I like them. I think they might end up becoming the stamp of approval for a lot of smart contracts at a high level. Uh, it's a big team of PhDs. Uh, they've been around. I know that they're signing different contracts with different companies, and I think that's only gonna continue to grow. So keep an eye out for Quantstamp. Uh, that's kind of a freebie too. So that's how you buy. Uh, and that's a little trick on how you can get it for cheaper. Another way is say we want to sell our quant stamp. So we're looking for buyers. So we can click here. Say, okay, they want 32. Let's ask for a little higher than that. Let's go 38. 
So we see 38. Actually, it goes up quite a bit on the next. Let's just try it. So we'll do 10 sell QSP. So this is showing your total holdings in QSP. And then again, it will hold down here in the open orders until it gets executed. One thing to note as well is if it does not get executed and it's held in the open orders, it will show that you're lacking that in your actual, your full wallet. So if you're wondering, hey, I should have more Ethereum, what's going on? It could be that you need to check your open orders and see that uh, what's open. Another way that you might get confused is if you put money into margin, but you're on the exchange and you think, oh, what, what happened? I got hacked. It's, yeah, see, they don't allow it here, but you could have funded your margin account. So you're going to need to take those funds and put them into your exchange account. Uh, let's see. So hubby tokens, let's talk, let's check out the chart. I'll do a quick, let's go back to Ethereum. And what happened with that? So for some reason I went to Bitcoin. Trying to get this light right. Uh, Ethereum, no records. Let's just refresh that. Oh, see, again, I'm on margin. That's how it can get confusing. Ethereum, quant stamp, and I'll do a quick TA on quant stamp and show you the different tools. So if you want to draw trend lines and fib retracements, you just go and click see the arrow. And we can do something like a fib retracement. So let's find the fib. And we'll take it from the high to the low. And then we'll put our settings in that we like. So let me move this so I can see it. My camera's in the way. So I'll take out 1.1. 1. 1. I don't do anything above 1. And I don't usually do 2. Then the next thing I do is I'll change it from prices. I'll go down, I like it in the middle. And then we can place it on the right side. Okay. So now we have a cleaner fib retracement chart. Uh, what I'm looking for is us to pass the line in the sand. Uh, that's typically what the 38.2 is referred to as. Once we pass that and we stay above, then we definitely want to watch the 50. Uh, if we do pull back up on something like this, we see when we retraced, we bounced on the 50, which I probably wouldn't have bought. Uh, what are we looking at? Let's make sure we're on a daily at least. Yeah, we're on a daily. So you can see how we just plummeted really fast in a matter of another cool tool that I'll give you guys. If you're not using already, as we'll see how much we fell instead of having to do the math real quick. So 66.9% in a matter of eight days. And we had a little bounce at the 50%, but nothing, nothing too interesting. If we switch this up, we can see, okay, you could have caught that bounce down at prior support uh, and made a 55% 50, profit in two days. Uh, but yeah, I think it would have been fairly safe to buy down here because if we can see where did we consolidate before so what I'll do with that is just line out where we had prior support you see we barely tapped it and then came up and overall what this can turn into well it doesn't look too strong on the way up it can consolidate around this area here uh, until we cross the line in the sand so that's what I'd be looking for uh, we see where the potential profit areas are. So we just can read that 66%. Uh, we can also look at what our risk to reward is. So we can look at a long position. We can pick where we're currently at if we had that buy order. See where we have the potential profit. And we can also bring it down where potential low, lows are. Let's bring this over a little bit. That's a great risk to reward profile. I usually look for two to one, but right there is 4.35. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty bullish on Quantstamp. Uh, I would like to get some of their guys on my podcast, but or my show channel, 
uh, but uh, I'm sure they're super busy and I don't want to look <laughs> any dumber than I already am a whole team of PhDs. So yeah, that's, um, it's pretty easy to use this website. Uh, let's see, what else can we talk about? Hubby tokens. Uh, just like any of the other exchanges, you have BNB, you have cash, you have the rock token, so on and so forth. Uh, you get special incentives for utilizing their coins or tokens to pay fees. So if you're not even a heavy trader, um, anywhere, any place that you can save money, do it. I mean, it's all about risk management and cash management, and that falls under cash management. So uh, I should definitely, I'm going to do a video on how that works. Uh, I think that will that open my eyes when I learn more about it. Uh, it will teach you how to position your trades for the best probabilities. Here you can see they have the hubby wallet. Another thing I like about them is they have uh, the API doc. So you can have API signatures, but where is it? They have a really good app. Uh, they have quite a few different operating systems that they work on. And uh, I'll need to follow this up with some kind of video on their app. And I used it a little bit and I think it's really good. Um, I think these videos will become a bit of a mini series because before you even get started, and if you're not using 2FA, so you go over here to the Google account and you can look around there. You wanna go to Google Authenticator and download the app. I'll show you how to do that in uh, you know, some videos down the road, but if you need, you need to do it right away. It's just paramount. You do not wanna get your account hacked and this gives you an extra layer of protection. Uh, so definitely do that. Damn, I shouldn't show my IP address, right? Uh, so let's see, what else can I help you guys out with? Deposits. So I guess they do loans where you can loan out your crypto and then you make uh, some type of a fee from loaning it out. Let's see what labs are. Hubby Labs is a blockchain incubator. So what I've what I've noticed with a lot of these exchanges is this year is really about focusing on ICOs and vetting them correctly to weed out the crap and to facilitate and uh, capitalize the good projects. And it's so hard to do that right now because there's really good scams going around. You have to dig deep. You actually have to look into the base code at the protocol layer and make sure there's no back doors. And that takes quite a bit of insight. That's one of the things I like about Quantstamp is they do things like that. I don't know why this thing keeps changing. So we offer funding in crypto form, hands-on advice from Hubby Investments, Smart Chain Evolution Model, Evaluation Model, sorry. Smart Chain Evaluation Model, Industry Resources Insight. I don't wanna just read the pages, but definitely check this stuff out. I mean, if you're gonna be using an exchange and putting your money on it, you should get acquainted with it. You should know who they are, what they're about. I'll help you out by making more videos. And yeah. I do not know why this thing keeps changing on me. Okay, so. And before I get before I get too far ahead, maybe you have Ethereum and you want to buy Bitcoin. So you might think, well, where is it at? They don't offer it. What you got, what you need to do is go to the Bitcoin area, the Bitcoin market, and then type in Ethereum because what you'll be selling is your Ethereum for Bitcoin. So to do that, you would click on, make sure you're in Bitcoin, go to Ethereum, and then you would sell your Ethereum so you'd be looking for a buyer and then you would put the amount of ether, which is a little easier to say, okay, I'm going to put 25% and this is the price of Bitcoin and then hit sell ether. And that would give you your Bitcoin. So if you have any questions, please let me know. I, um, I'm here to help you guys out. I really want to focus on growing my subscriber base and the channel and having my own little niche. I know there's so much junk out there of people promoting this ICO or this one's going to make you a hundred X bro. No, it's a thousand X bro. It's really annoying. And I hope this is a place where you guys can come and get my honest opinion and uh, somebody that's done quite 
quite a bit of research to make sure, and it's it's still so hard, right? Uh, but I have a team of researchers now. I have advisors, and we're all working hard together to build the solid foundation of our company before we go 100% live. So keep an eye out. Go to our website if you want to learn more and stay in tune for the updates. And uh, besides that, happy trading, make massive returns, and treat each other like you would yourselves. And have a great day. Bye.